what's going on guys okay this is the 190 and it is now in the bike not 100 percent done still got a few other things that i got to do i ordered the other clutch cable waiting for that to come in uh still have to put my other chain on i got to cut this one off because it doesn't have a master link for the factory so that kind of sucks but whatever uh, what I have done so far is right here for your stator, okay, I pulled the stator out of my 125 and put it into here. So that way it's a simple plug and play. Uh, this here is the actual original sensor out of the original motor that will give you the reading from one through four gears now does this stuff work i really don't know yet you know but i do know that the stator bolted right up looks similar to the other one <clears throat> i'll know more once i actually get this sucker fired up i'll have to check the battery see if it's charging if it isn't well then i'll have to grab the other one back out of the 125 <clears throat> put it back in here and redo the wiring you know probably cut cut these back to here wire these into the other one go from there with that uh, as you can tell here my intake manifolds on I actually use this line I had a different line for the other Makuni the VM22 for the 125 it takes a 5 8 line for whatever reason the flat slide takes a thinner line well I just grabbed this off of the, the crankcase vent tube and use that the other thing with that is this 190 the crankcase vent tube I just stuck a hose right there for now to see if it might be able to go down in but the original one was crimped over blocked off pinched will not vent so that's a that's a no no bueno right there you know you got it's got a vent end of story on that so i gotta see if i can figure out something with that oh let's see what else is there uh yeah i do i am going to put the oil cooler on i haven't gotten around to that just yet because i've been messing around with this chain uh, I pulled out my caliper and I was checking the thicknesses of the chains, you know, because the O ring 428 chain is a lot thicker than this one. It's about, uh, well, we'll just say it's a lot thicker. That's for sure. It might end up rubbing on the case back in there. I don't know. Uh, if it does, I'll have to determine if it's going to work or not, you know, because there are some places where it's able to rub a little and not really hurt anything except, you know, wear out that particular spot in the case it won't you know wear a hole or nothing like that uh, let's see what else is there oh boy yeah the exhaust let me go around over here I ordered an exhaust which they said would fit and surprise it doesn't you know which not a big deal completely I'm gonna take it over to my buddy who does some welding you know, I'm going to have to extend the neck of it to go up in here so it can come down and go under the starter. The starter's pretty big on these. You know, and it hangs out really low. <clears throat> Other than that, right here with the, the rear brake pedal, as you can see, you know, a lot of people say, oh, just cut this off. It'll return on its own. But, you know, I really wasn't a fan of that, especially once I seen that all you have to do is notch off the front loop and leave the back loop there hook your chain up now yeah it does rub a little bit on there but that ain't nothing serious the only thing you might get is maybe some paint missing which not a big deal at least you still got your return spring not an issue you know now with the kickstart obviously you can't use that rear sets in the way i mean you might be able to grind some of this out but you know i'm not even going there with that that's what i have an electric start for now as far as the starter wire goes the power wire the 125 to the 190 is completely different, which not a big deal. You know, I just basically, this was ran down around here. So I just loosened it up, flipped it up to run this way, ran it up and connected it to the old starter solenoid. You know, no need to use a new one for no reason. Uh, let's see what else was there so far. Obviously put the motor in, you know, which wasn't hard at all. Oh yeah, I do. Obviously, you can see the clutch. Now, the other clutch cable that you get is a lot longer. 
you know, as far as like cabling goes, but uh, it's hard to do this one hand right now. You know, that, that's about what you get right there. And if you push this forward, you know, yeah, I could probably connect it to it right now, but I'm afraid that once I get this back into position, that this cable here, the length overall is too short in order to pull it where it's got to go you know so i just ordered a new cable and i'm waiting on that i ordered it a while ago it's just amazon's pretty slow on the shipping thing right now which whatever not a big deal now my next mission here is the chain and the oil cooler i haven't even brought the oil cooler out here just yet as i don't know exactly where i'm going to put it you know, obviously I'm going to have to make some form of a bracket or something to connect it to, which not really a big deal. You know, I just got to figure out where I can stuff that thing because it's pretty big. You know, it, it is big. And yeah, I mean, that's pretty much about it for, for now. I don't have any oil in it yet because I'm not ready to fire it up. I just figured out the gas line over there, which kind of worked out good. <laughs> You know, didn't cost me any extra money. I already had the stuff to do it from the old motor. So, I mean, now, now it's just a matter of uh, seeing what we got. You know, I might throw some oil in here, fire it up. I, I don't know what I'm going to do just yet. You know, but I will be making a few more videos. Keep everybody updated. And uh, this is where the oil cooler goes. You know, I know a lot of people wonder, but the bottom here is the out okay the top is the return bottom is the out top is the return good to know that when you're using your oil cooler if the oil cooler specifies in an, in, a, in an outlet you know so your feet you're feeding from here and when it returns it's coming back to here so that way everybody knows other than that i this is a newer one and they did somewhat implement a shift star fix on these i don't know if you're familiar with the shift stars or not but the original ones had a problem where the little roller would ramp out because of the ramp that they put on the actual shifter the little uh i don't even know exactly the shifter paul but what they did they changed the shift star which doesn't have as steep as a ramp you know ground in it but i noticed when i was messing with it you can still get it to pop off of the shift star completely so i'm gonna have to take these rear sets loose pull this cover off once i get the cover off you're gonna have to get yourself the clutch basket tool too so you can disconnect the clutch basket and take that off to where you can get access and put the washers on and the longer bolt and all that stuff you know if anybody's interested i got the sizes of everything you need you know i just don't have it handy right now and it isn't on the bag because i went to value home center so value home center has everything pretty much that you're going to need for that you know real real simple and easy to do the other thing i had to do too almost forgot there were two ground wires i can't even remember what they were connected to my buddy was on this side taking stuff apart so he didn't remember what they came off of but i just stuck them underneath this coil right here don't mind the helicopter of course they want to go over right now Ay, ay, ay. Okay, basically this was the best spot to put the ground wires. You know, they both reached pretty fairly easily and they weren't all bent and twisted and torn up. So I kind of like that the best. But if uh, you have any questions, feel free to comment. Thanks for watching.